Hey guys, how's it going? So my name's Nick and today we're going to be running through how to highlight a property in Premiere, but we're also going to be using After Effects and the built-in feature of Mocha. So let's get straight into it. So the first thing you'll have is some footage, obviously. So for this video, I'm going to be using this footage here. So what I want to do is sort of highlight it at this area here, just as it's going by. And how we're going to do that is in After Effects. Now it's going to start in Premiere just so I can show you how to do it in Premiere, um, but it's pretty easy to bring it into After Effects. So first thing you want to do is just open up Premiere and then create a new project. As usual, I'm just going to create a random project here because it doesn't matter too much. So I'm just going to drag this in and then just drag it into Create Composition. So that's what we're going to use and this is going to be the part we're going to highlight. Now you can't do this in Premiere alone, you have to actually open up an After Effects. So I'm going to show you how to open up an After Effects, it's super easy anyway. So to open it up, all you have to do is right click on it, replace with After Effects Composition. And then it's going to ask you where to save it. So here you have the main project file, but you also have to save an After Effects file as well. So I'm going to call it just the same name. Um, and it's just going to be all the After Effects um, parts of the video. Now you'll have the area that you want to track here and it's, it's right at the beginning. But what I suggest is actually just cutting it out like this, the part that you do want to use to track if it's something up here. But because we're doing it in the center here or the start, I'm actually just going to cut it here just by doing that it's just easier for mocha to track uh, it doesn't have to track the entire thing it just needs to track at the start of it so once you've cut it go into effects and presets over here click that and then just look for mocha and then mocha ae drag that onto the clip now up here in your effects control, you just want to hit Mocha. Now, if you don't see this up here, then there's a few tabs up here and it should be there. Otherwise, go to Window and then come here to Effects Control when you have this selected. And then this should pop up. So click Mocha and it's going to open up Mocha. Now, Mocha is a built-in software that comes with After Effects. You know, you can pay for it, but it is free. It comes with After Effects. Uh, so, you know, just get rid of that. All right, now once you're in Mocha, what you want to do is just take this to the start, this little play bar here, take this to the start of the place where you want to track the footage. So I'm just going to do it probably just from here actually, that's probably fine. Um, and then you go to this section up here and you hit this over here. This is create an X spline layer tool. You click that and then what you're going to do is highlight the property. This corner over here, bam. And then this corner over here, bam, and this corner over here, bam. And then just go back to where you started it and then click and it'll close up. Now, because it's a property, you don't normally have uh, curved corners when you're showing the property. So you need to turn those corners into right angles. And it's super simple to do that. All you have to do is see these little blue buttons over here, click them and then just pull them. Super simple. All right, so now that you've outlined the property, uh, what you have to do is basically start tracking it. Now you can track forwards or you can track backwards. And what that means is you can play the video normally going forward and it's gonna track forward or you can play the video backwards and then track it while it's going back. And the reason you do this, for example, if something came on screen when you're tracking something, you'd want to track it back from a point where you can highlight the entire object, if that makes sense. But because the property is on the screen for the entire duration of the clip, it doesn't really matter. So once it's here, you're gonna come over here and this is to track forward. Remember tracking backwards is this one here if you wanted to play it in reverse and track it, but we wanna track it forward. So click this and it's gonna start playing and tracking it. Now, if this starts to move off where you want it to go, all you have to do is pause it and then reposition it and then hit continue again. So far, it looks like it's doing all right. So like I said before, the reason why we cut it out over here is so that when we bring it into here, it, the whole clip doesn't show here. It's just the part that we want to highlight. And boom, it's done. So this part over here, this like purplish bit, that means it's got tracking data on it. Everything red means it doesn't. So if I wanted more information to track here, like I said before, you can click here and you can track backwards. So it's got the mask already here. And then if you track backwards, it's playing the video in reverse and getting tracking information in reverse. 
So now if I press stop, you can see that that tracking information has been filled, but we don't need anything backwards from that. So we're not gonna continue that. The next step is you just wanna hit this button over here. This is going to save the tracking data that you just got. Once you save it, just close it. And now you're in After Effects. Now there's different ways you can do this, but what I like to do is firstly start by duplicating this layer here. And this is the layer with the tracking data. Now I'm going to just turn the bottom one off just for example's sake right now. And then if we go to the top layer and we go to Matte, Create a Mask, it's gonna create a mask of all that tracking data that we just got. Hit it, you can see that, voila, that clip is now just a little mask now. So the good thing about this is what you can do is if you turn the bottom one on is that it looks normal, but what you can do is click it, go to Effects, generate and then stroke. And when you do that, you can change the color of this, say to red or something. You can add a border to the, to the property. And if you have a border on the property, it means you can highlight it. So if we go over here and actually start the tracking and then go to end and set a keyframe for the end at 100%. And this is going to be how much of it is actually highlighted. So set a keyframe for it for the end, go to here, press U to show all keyframes. And this is the keyframe for the end. And then move that forward and then move this back down to zero. Now, if we play this a bit, okay, my computer's a bit slow, but you can see that as it, as it goes on, it's gonna make up the information between the first keyframe and the last keyframe. And so it's gonna highlight it like that. Now you could leave it like that and you can see that once it highlights it, it stays there and it sort of tracks with it. Now it's kind of disappearing right now because it kind of disappears when your computer can't handle it. But if you do play it and you do export it, it is actually gonna show there. So you could leave it at that, like that, that works pretty well as it is and it's going to show the property outline. But what I also like to do is actually come into here and then go to Lumetri Color, bring that in here. And then I also like to bring down the exposure of everything else but the property to make it sort of stand out a bit more. So to do that, bring the Lumetri color onto the clip and then go to exposure, set a keyframe here where the outlining starts, bam, and then go to where the outlining ends and bring the exposure down. And you can see, for example, sake, if I bring it all the way down, it's darkening everything except the property, but we don't want it that dark. We just want it a little bit darker. All right. Now, so if you press U to show the keyframes, you can see there's two points, one where the exposure is normal and one where it's a bit darker. So if you play that, you can see it goes like that, it highlights the property and it gets darker around the property. That's one way to show the property. This is what I use for most of my property videos. Now, all you have to do from here is just save this and then go back to Premiere Pro and boom, it's in Premiere Pro now. Now, remember you can pre-render this if it's lagging a bit, because it probably is going to lag a bit by just hitting return and that's gonna pre-render the file so it plays back nicer. So that's the end of today's video. I hope that helps. I hope that shows you a way to outline your property. It's pretty simple. Once you get into the flow of it, it's pretty fast and easy to do. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.